story to tell. On April 9, 2021, Korea unveiled its first domestic supersonic fighter, the KF-21 Borame. This step will help Seoul show the club of the big players in the world military aircraft manufacturing industry. This $5.2 billion program is expected to help Korea rise to one of the world's top arms exporters and boost shop growth. Following the success of the FA-50, a family of South Korean supersonic advanced jet generals and light combat aircraft, Korea Aerospace Industry developed a new fighter under the KF-X program. The program is very ambitious, as South Korea is relatively new to the military aviation industry. The program is led by South Korea, which holds 80% of shares. Indonesia joined in 2010 for 20%. South Korea's Air Force is one of the largest in the world today, but the vast majority of aircraft are deteriorating rapidly. The KF-21 is expected to replace the outdated F-4E Phantom II and F-5E Tiger, which are the currently the main fighters of the country's Air Force with about 175 aircraft. In addition, the KF-21 has the potential to replace part of its fourth-generation aircraft fleet, including the F-16 and F-15K. In addition to serving the South Korean Air Force, the KF-21 is expected to be exported. Potential customers could be Southeast Asian countries, including Thailand, the Philippines, Indonesia, or even Iraq. The KF-21 is not classified as a fifth-generation fighter, such as the F-22, F-35, J-20, or Su-57, but rather a 4 plus plus generation. The airframe is stealthier than other 4 generation fighters, but does not carry weapons in one or more internal base like 5th generation fighters. Although the engine and stair capabilities are not as advanced as the F-35, the KF-21's advantages are lower operating costs, easier maintenance, and a lower price. The KF-21 is faster and can operate at higher altitudes than the F-16 and F-35 and can carry a wide range of advanced munitions. The most notable weapon of the KF-21 is a Korean version of Taurus Long Range Air-to-Surface Missiles, one of the most powerful missiles in the world currently deployed by the KF-15K fighter. Additionally, it can be armed with a meteor long range air to air missile with a range almost double the AIM 120s currently used by the F 35. The KF 21 
is believed to be competitive with American missiles, meaning it can integrate the long-range AIM-260 air-to-air missile, which is expected to begin service by the end of the decade. These missiles are faster, more flexible, long-range, more reliable, and are cheaper than Meteor. The success of the Korean defense industry has been proven with high performance and cost-effective weapon systems, such as the K-9 Thunder self-propelled gun, the K-2 Black Panther main battle tank, or FA-50 fighter, and Hyunmu 3 cruise missile. The KF-21 is expected to be one of the most successful fighter programs in the world. Currently, the Russian Su-57 program is limited by the very small scale of production. The ambitious Turkey's TFX program is mainly based on foreign technology, and Pakistan's ACM aircraft are mainly based on Chinese technology. This makes the KF-21 the leader among next-generation programs behind the US and China. My video about South Korea KF-21 ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.